Kick-ass facts, swearing versus cursing versus minced oaths. Pew, 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 pew! Swearing and cursing are often used interchangeably, but there is a subtle difference in their origin. A curse implies damning or punishing someone. The expression of a wish that misfortune, evil, doom, etc. befall a person or a group, while a swear word suggests blasphemy, invoking a deity to empower your words. The earliest swear words were identical to curse words, taking the Christian God's name in vain or speaking of acts that were considered sinful. Cuss you may be asking yourself, is an American alteration of curse, and its meaning is to say bad words, was first recorded in 1815. On to a minced oath, and this is all we will say about it. A minced oath is a word used in place of a swear word, like sugar, fudge, or darn. We know what you're trying to say. According to the Oxford English Dictionary, shit has been used to mean obnoxious person since 1508. The dictionary also has a list of common phrases involving shit and the approximate year they were first used. Here's what they found. 1922, not give a shit. 1937, shit hole. 1942, shit list. 1960s, shit faced. And 1989, same shit, different day. Also, according to the Oxford English Dictionary, OED, because we're like this, fuck did not appear in any English language dictionary from 1795 to 1965. The Penguin Dictionary finally made a bold move to include it in the 1966 dictionary, and from there it was added to other dictionaries. Etymologies from various sources all tend to agree that the word probably developed from various Germanic languages. I'm going to mispronounce some, st some shit. Actually, I'm going to mispronounce some fuck. <laughs> The verb form of the word in German is ficken. In Dutch, fucken, meaning to breed or beget. Norwegians have the word fucka, which means to copulate. Swedish also has fucka, to strike or to copulate, and fuck for penis. Commonly used fuck phrases and the approximate date when they began. 1916, fuck up. 1929, fuck off. 1960, fuck all. Fuck has colloquial usage as a verb, adverb, adjective, conjunction, interfuck, injection, noun, and pronoun. The word is also a component of many acronyms, some of which, like snafu, situation normal, all fucked up, and foobar, fucked up beyond all recognition, date as far back as World War II. Today, we have MILF, shut the fuck up, STFU, FML, fuck my life, and WTF, what the fuck. The OED cites the first known instance of motherfucker as being used at an 1889 Texas trial where a witness stated that the defendant in the case was called earmuffs. You don't want to hear it. That goddamn motherfucking bastardly son of a bitch. We're going to talk about some curses. And we are going to focus on Yiddish curses because they are perfection. You should grab a pen and write this shit down. It's gold. May all your teeth fall out but one so that you may still get a toothache. May all your enemies move in with you. May you grow so rotten that goats, skunks, and pigs refuse to be near you. May you be so rich your widow's husband never has to work a day. May your buttocks fall off. May he find no rest even in the grave. That's dark. May your nose run and your feet smell. A hundred houses shall he have in every house, a hundred rooms, and in every room twenty beds, and a delirious fever should drive him from bed to bed. Oh, this one's my favorite. May your sex life be as good as your credit.